Hello world, hello internet, hello Jason Isaacs. Um, let's today concentrate on opening our UCAS account. Now this is distinct from filling in your UCAS account. This is distinct from UCAS Hub. This is something uh, that you need to do to access UCAS search properly. Uh, and it's something you certainly need to do before we get into the serious business of filling in your UCAS account uh, on Wednesday. So um, let's just go in and do this. Now I do have a video online uh, for this. Um, but it's uh, from 2018. Actually, nothing really has changed. Um, but um, I thought I'd do an up to date because the entry process is a, is a little different. The whole of the UCAS website has changed a little bit. Um, and so um, it's going to be a good idea to, to go in from first principles. So I'm going to log out and just go in uh, as I would uh, for somebody completely new. Right, um, it's thinking about it because, uh, hey, it's Monday and the internet takes its time to wake up as well. So, while that's doing, for Wednesday, we will have your um, all of your um, exam qualifications ready, so you can put all of those in um, together. We'll work you through that longer process and then you can get on with the serious business of your personal statement and, of course, making the choices. Right, so you're going in as an undergraduate. Yes, I know it's 2020 now, but you will be applying for University 2021. So that's where we're going. We're going to apply 2021. Now, that doesn't matter whether you're applying to take a gap year or not. Um, just go in uh, that way. Um, so we need to register, obviously. Got to read all of this. It's all very, very important. You'll need your buzzword, but I'll explain that in a second. Uh, all of this, kosher, you know, TR, TLDR. We're going to go into that. So we haven't read it. Um, right, so here we go. Um, so we're going to go in here as, uh, we'll go in as uh, me, basically. So, uh, and uh, my birthday is obviously not specific, but never mind. I'll blur that out. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, and uh, in we go. Now, postal address. Borders, you have to use Stowe School. That's the simple way to do it. If you're a day pupil, you can use Stowe School, you can use your home address, not that fast. Um, but um, borders, please use um, Stowe School. Um, it just keeps things that much more streamlined. Now, the postcode, in case you're wondering, is MK18, uh, come on, uh, mk 185 eh If you put Stowe School in there, it throws it out. Um, so don't bother, just put that one in there, and that's as much as you need to do. So that is now cleared in there. And we can go into the next thing. We don't have to change address to your home telephone number. Um, you can put that one in, your mobile number. This is useful for us if we need to get a hold of you later um, when we're looking at um, contacting you in clearing or something like that. So do please put your mobile phone number in. You do also need to put in your email address. Now, do not use the school address for this. Do not use your school address because um, there will be a time in the summer when you're really not that interested in looking at your uh, school address. So don't put that one in. Use your whatever email you use, your sort of personal email, and we'll be able to contact you uh, when you are off site and you're not picking up your school emails. Obviously, if your email address is something wildly inappropriate, this would be a good time to change it and to get a grown up uh, email address. <clears throat> now, we're almost there, to be absolutely honest. So um, this is all uh, sort of fairly standard. Don't worry about that too much. We now go into this game and this is boring as hell. Um, but so many people lose their password and they say to me, can I reset their account? I can't. This account is not with me. It's not with the school. This account is with UCAS. So please make sure that you get this right. And you do need all the uh, ding dongs on this. You need capital letters, you need numbers, and you need um, a special character. So yeah, full ding dongs on that one. Um, all this. Uh, uh, Stalin. Um, obviously, you should probably do this properly. Um, security question two. Favorite holiday. Stalin. Um, this is really just uh, just a question of process. Obviously, you will do all of this properly. Um, and there we go. So make a note of your username uh, because that is now um, how you're going to get in. And hopefully you'll remember your password. Uh, you can now go to the login facility and you can actually start building 
your um, building your email address so it was p floyd one remember that remember that this is oh this is going to be automatically generated this is now how you log in and uh, once you're logged in you can remember this uh, email you can remember this password combination um you're going to be applying through the school so uh, make sure you do that um that's then going to ask you for your buzzword now the buzzword this year is uh, you can see there's a pattern there, but it's Stoic 2021. This will then link your account to the school's uh, UCAS account. So yep, that's correct as well. And what you can do in now is you can now apply uh, to your tutor group. Now, if you can't see your tutor group, just go into the default or the don't know one, um, that's fine. Uh, if you're applying through Oxbridge, you'll see that some of these have got subsets um, that uh, will take you into Oxbridge. That's so that Mr. Manane can keep an eye on your uh, application and uh, give you all of the help and guidance that you require uh, on that one so um, yeah just park yourself into the group if you can't if you don't know your tutors initials well you should do um, and you can uh, and you can check um, with uh, with your tutor or indeed uh, with me I'm going to go into Mr Gupta's group because he's a cool guy and um, there we go now good idea at this point to take a picture of all of this and cache this somewhere now you do need to verify your email address so go back and do that you can't do that really so you can't do much else uh, until you go through here there is one more detail that i need just to check and that is at some point it will ask you if you want to share your details with the school do make sure you do that because that allows us to track your application um, I may have changed with the change with the GDPR. This changes every year, but hopefully you'll be able to uh, make sure you link your account to us so that we can see you uh, and help you. Uh, if you don't do that, you'll be getting emails from me saying, "Can you please do so?" Um, we, as you go through the uh, the application process, these boxes will change to being ticked and completed, so you can fill out all of this. Now you've got now got the opportunity to put in your your home address, your date of birth, and all of that sort of stuff. Um, and um, we will basically pick up this point um, in the um, in the presentation on Wednesday and walk you through uh, from here. So please do make sure you've got to this point uh, for Wednesday, and um, I will see you then, if not before. And um, thanks for listening. Uh, questions to the usual address, and see you all very, very soon. Okay, bye for now.